everyone to the very first Netflix Critics. I am Corey, and this is Josh. And we both are here to review Netflix movies. That is all this show is going to be about. Things on Netflix. The end. I'm going to let Josh introduce himself and exactly what he thinks about movies and what he's big into. Well, first of all, I'm Josh, as I said earlier. That's true. I tend to focus more on the plot. I like if things make sense. It's not just like suddenly they're here, then they're here. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever if you're in a countryside, then you're in a city. I don't care what you're doing. It's just like suddenly I'm just wondering what happened here. There's this chunk that's missing, and there's no explanation why. If things get really stupid, I tend to... What's a good word? Criticize? Criticize. That's a good word. Uh, make fun of brutally make metaphors to describe them. A lot of cursing. A lot of cursing, yeah. which I'm going to try to buckle down on. It's, it's a thing we For the sake do. of your channel. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, that's about it. What you'll notice a lot when we're reviewing is I'll probably play the good cop, he'll play the bad cop. I love movies, passionate about it. So if I see a bad movie in my head, I will try to make it better. That's just who I am, is what I do, as you'll see in this review today. Let's get started on our official Netflix review on Battle Royale. Netflix Critics! The Japanese government introducing a system whereby randomly chosen school children, which isn't true, but we'll get to that later, are taken to an island and forced to fight each other to the death. Here we go. In our reviews, we are going to focus on three main things. The first, the plot. The second, the actors or actors that could have been in the movie. And third, improvements. First one we're going to talk about, plot. So the plot of this movie is a Japanese Hunger Games. Pretty, pretty much. Without the whole, the person who wins get food. It's the person who wins gets to live on as a very hateful adult towards other adults. <laughs> pretty it's much. pretty much raising sociopaths. Now, the plot was... It was I okay. I, I didn't like it. I... <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely things that didn't make sense. For instance... Random. School children. Here's the problem. They take a whole scatter of the same class of school children. So it's not technically random children. It's not all over the world. It's just one spot. It's all about one messed up teacher that just hates them. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, what, what happened in Battle Royale 1? In the first, uh, must have been 15 minutes, he throws a knife in one of the kids' heads. Directly. Di he just... Pretty much. For talking. For just asking a question. And before this, there was a random scene where one of the school children stabs the teacher. We don't talk, we don't talk about why he stabs the teacher. We don't know if he's just a depressed emo child. We don't know. It wasn't that at all. He was just like, I quit school, <laughs> stab, and then suddenly he came back for the school trip. If I, I don't get it. If only school was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, this is what I don't understand. It's The whole premise of the movie is... They're doing this because the school children are out of control. Right. They don't respect adults. And that's what I don't understand. It's like, you're going to make them respect adults by forcing them to kill each other. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what I noticed was when they picked the numbers, it was the two Japanese kids who had a crush on each other. I think it was like to see if they'd kill each other in the end. Right. But at the same time, I was like, love conquers all. Ugh. Boring! It's, I don't know if it's supposed to really make the, the movie watcher be like, oh no, are they really going to kill each other? Guess what? They're going to kill each other. It's going to happen. Like, either that or they die. Okay, each kid got a bag. Right. A bag of, like, survival gear and then one weapon. I use that term in quotes <laughs> because the main characters got a frying pan lid right. and a pair of binoculars. binoculars. While everybody else got, like, tasers and guns. I mean, that one kid got, like, a combat <laughs> shotgun. And he was in the, these games th before. 
And that's the other problem. They take two people, but these two people, that one was a psychopath and he loved killing people. <sighs> <laughs> and the other one has already been in the game. And apparently he's also like a martial arts expert. So again, the idea of random is not communicating at it. At they, they said that they brought them in to push the kids to kill each other faster. Because they only had three days before all their collars exploded and their necks exploded with them. Which is, you know, interesting, I guess. <laughs> but at the same time, you're like... That's a tight guideline to Just put all these kids on an island and then expect them to find each other with no tracking skill. So, <laughs> altogether, the plot was crap. Second, here we go. We're going to talk about the actors. Now, technically, we can't really talk about the actors. We can. We don't know any of them. We don't know them. They're <laughs> Japanese. Technically, they might be huge movie stars in Japanese culture. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure that the lines that they use, like the uh, subtitles... Were very roughly translated. Very roughly. Because very. some of them were like, why is that there? Yeah, why is that said in that scene? Well, one of the scenes was, at least I'm dying with a cool kid. Yeah, that was, that was literally. <laughs> You're the coolest kid. That's what, it's, <laughs> that's what it said. That and is me, what it said. Me and Corey were just like, what? <laughs> we look at it like, yep, that makes sense. That's, that's what's needed right there. You're the coolest kid in class. So acting, we really can't really say much of Or whether it can be replaced actors. Right, because... Because you can't put, like, Sean Connery right. in a, a chapter. Imagine Ben Affleck and Sean Connery. <laughs> that, would, that would be awesome. Megan Fox is the girl, like, oh, man. Megan I, Fox is a sociopathic girl. Yeah, that's so, just, she was nothing. Spoilers, she dies at the end. <laughs> Spoilers, which is everybody good. dies at the end. <laughs> Except the main character. The main character. Because they love each other. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it, Josh? Love conquers all. That's a huge theme, and that this would really be a plot. This is actually the whole plot. Love conquers all. Literally, the whole film. Because the teacher loves that student, and then he lets them go because he loves her. And there's something else, apparently, in Japanese culture that happens. Every time you die, you must say who you had a crush on or who you love. Again, that might be because of the subtitles really messed it up. But, that's what happened. I doubt it, because they had the names in there with them. I don't know. You can't really tell because it's like, <laughs> and then the subtitles for us is like four words. All right, finally, we're gonna go over improvements. What would you have improved about this movie? It's hard to, to say improvements because I don't. I tried to do research on the movie for Japanese culture, right? Because it could be good for them. It could. They could really like these kind of movies. Are. I like the action in a second. And I'm going to put it out there. It is a very gory film. Oh, it's gory. It's awful. It's awfully gory. There's some scenes where, like, I'm into action movies, but there was a scene that happened that I just looked at Josh and, just, and I was thinking, did that literally just happen in a movie? Like, it's a, it was, they, on Netflix, they have to not put the NR rating on it because much. it's kids literally killing other people. Compa to compare it to Hunger Games, like Josh told me about Hunger Games because I've not seen it, and he said in all the kills, most of the kills, or not all, you'll in see Hunger the Games, guy slashing downward, but the kid will be off camera. Right. It's implied killing. While this is like, you see the girl slash the other one's throat with the comma. I so mean, the the reality of it is really good. Right. It. But at the same time. I'm, I, you see, I overthink. I overthink the plot and human nature and everything. There is no way that even if the Japanese school children were rebelling against adults, right. that's teenagers. Right. Teenagers rebel against adults. And you would never, from a psychological <laughs> or sociological aspect, make them kill each other nope. to make them respect adults. Because nope. why would you respect the people that are making you kill each other? Not even in communism. It just it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Not in any kind of... <laughs> so, you've heard what we thought about Battle Royale. Now, we are going... Is we take things that we like and we rate them in that kind of order. So you'll see right now. Josh, what would you rate this? I would rate it one and a half shiny red yo-yos out of... Now me, I technically would only give it two. Now you might be wondering why more than Josh. The blood and gore got me. 
just thought it was it, it wowed me. Well, that's the only reason. Only why reason. He's getting one at least one star. <laughs> Any star at all? Because it's a it's realistic. I'll give it that okay. in the gore aspect, not in the whole society aspect. Right. So two out of me. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the very first episode of Next the whole day. <laughs> so below, we're going to have our Facebook link for our fan page. Go over there. Uh, we'll be posting uh, polls every week, asking you guys or putting down like four or five movies that you want us to watch for the week. You, we're gonna put. In this poll, okay, I want it to be so that you can choose the movie, but don't, like, don't make us feel don't tortured. Don't spam it with, like, third-rate Disney movies. I saw the Aladdin movie, but it was called Arabian Nights or whatever. Right. Um, so, only Netflix movies, too? Because can't put, like, hey, watch this one movie that's not even on Netflix. Nope. I'm not going to go down the family video and watch a movie. It's called Netflix Critics. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. So we shall see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends, be cool, and Ninja Turtles!